Indonesian government steps in to halt speculators' attacks on the national currency. Eurotunnel faces legal moves to block an agreement reached with its creditor banks. And Kenya's government passes an economic reform package, but the IMF still withholds an aid package. Hello. Thanks very much indeed. And finally, if you have any questions or comments, you can, of course, email us at biznews at bbc.co.uk. But for now, that's it from the BBC's World Business Report. From us all, goodbye. It's a new low for the euro, now less than 99 cents. And why the fur is flying in New York, in this case, right out of the shops. The Dow Jones Industrials, all was said and done, the market closed, it was off about four points. Hello, welcome to the new Improved World Business Report. I'm Patrick O'Connell in London. Bigger and better, I'm Richard Quest in New York. <laughs> That's pretty much it from World Business Report. In London, from the team, goodbye. We're the business, I'm Patrick O'Connell. In New York, I think I'm Richard Quest. Whatever you're up to in the next 24 hours, I hope it's profitable. Good night, Patrick. Good night, Richard. High tech stocks take a hammering after Oracle disappoints. And new labour laws in Spain to help tackle Europe's highest unemployment levels. Hello and welcome to World Business Report. I'm Michelle Hussein. From all of us here on the team, goodbye. US telecoms firm MCI in trouble again, this time with its rivals. And Germany gets a touch more optimistic, but does it really have anything to be that pleased about? On the markets, trade fairly flat and very quiet. Investors looking ahead to a raft of economic data due to be released later this week. Business Report. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye. Renault says it's open to a partnership with GM if America's struggling carmaker wants one. And the new men at the controls of Airbus promise to sort things out. Can they get the aircraft maker back on track? From us, I'm Darshini in London. And I'm Kate in New York. Bye-bye. Eat the new muscle in Motown. This is the king of American luxury sports cars, the spanking new Corvette, born and bred in the US, but now taking on Europe's premium car makers. And Dreamliner's nightmares go international. Now Japan launches its own safety probe.
Hello everybody, I'm Aaron Hazelhurst. Welcome to the program. Of course, our very first World Business Report coming to you live from our brand new studios here in central London. We hope you like them because we are very excited about our new home. Ben, great to see you. Ben, lately it seems if it's not one day, it's another where we're getting problems from the, the Dreamliner. I know on Friday, Boeing share price was down 2.5%. How's it faring today? And what's being said where you are about all of this? Yeah, as you said, Boeing falling significantly last week after what was a pretty disastrous week for the firm. It will be a week that they want to forget. But nonetheless, of course, the work now begins in trying to determine exactly what the problem is and whether it can be solved. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye. Before we go, some news about us. After more than 30 years, we're going to say goodbye to World Business Report. Well, it's had quite a few different looks over the years. This one from the late 1990s, well, WBR as we call it, it looked like, well, this until 2007, when a new look arrived and everything went quite blue. And then came our spiky globe in 2013. We love it. But it's time for a new look and a new name. Business Today is what we'll be called from later today. All you need to know about money, markets, finance, tech, travel and trade. Business today here on BBC News. But for one final time, from me and the team, you've been watching World Business Report. Bye-bye.